I must admit, I'm absolutely loving building in Sons of the Forest at the moment. I just find there's so much to explore with the building system, no matter how um, restrictive it might be. And I've left thinking, what do I want to build next? I had considered building a mountain lodge and still want to do one, but given that recently we built this lake house, I think it's better to leave that for later on. And just a note before we continue, if you are interested in seeing these builds, they're all in the same creative build playlist, uh, which you can check out if you want to check them out. So far, we've really been pushing the boat out with different styles of building. But one thing that I haven't really thought about is defensive building. So today we're going to be building a Roman inspired wooden fort. And just so you are aware, I'm basing off this image here. So we do have the palisade walls. It's square, so it should be pretty easy to build. And then we've got the towers in the or all of the, the corners. And then we also have the sharp sticks pointing out at the bottom, as well as a little bridge. Now, I don't think we can do the little moat that it has, but we can certainly play around with the, the style of building itself. And I'll be honest, what better spot than this little camp here, which is on a flat piece of ground next to the southern GPS locator for the bunker. Along with giving us plenty of resources every time that we jump in, we also have a little pond nearby as well. So this might work out pretty well as a creative build. And obviously these little tents are just going to um, fit in relatively with the, the Roman style build. I'm not suggesting the ancient Romans were cannibals by any means, but I think it'll work. And we're now ready to start building. We're going to start with the outer walls and we're also going to try and do what I did in a recent defense video. Do check that out, I'll put a link to that now. So the first thing that I'm going to do, knowing that I want the wall to go along here, is just to place a log to give me an idea as to which direction we're going. And then I'm going to start placing our wall in this direction. Um, and then we need to build it in a square. At this point, I've added probably half of one wall and I'm starting to build this out. We want to make sure that this doesn't go. It looks like it's in line. I'm hoping it's in line, but I'm just building along here so that we can build this inside so that we can create a walkway for towers. And how we'll do that is by building inside this. I've been building this and we've managed to get it so that it's pretty much exactly in line on, on the side. So providing we follow this system, it the wall will both be with 90 degree angles and so will the outer section as well, which is going to be really important for us when it comes to doing the spikes. And I'm trying to make this as Historically accurate, I'm going to say, with uh, inverted commas uh, as a Roman fort. Obviously, it's not going to be 100% accurate, <laughs> but we will do the outer wall, we'll do the gate, we may even do a gatehouse and then the towers and we'll go from there. At this point, I'm about halfway around the build. It's coming along, but there is a problem. And that is the entrance here. So the, the problem it comes from this tent, I don't really want to take out the tents. I think they add to the aesthetic of the, the Roman kind of fort that we're going for. But if we grab one of these, you'll notice that I can't place this because it's going to clip through and apparently it doesn't like us doing that. So what I've had to do is push this back another uh, beams worth. However, if we do the beam, uh, sorry, if we do the wall along here, it means that when we have the doorway here, it's going to open up into this. And I quite like to have this on display. So I think what I'm going to do is have the wall along this section here, as it was originally intended, but then have a little um, I don't know if they use them in Roman forts, but like a Barbican. And so we have an entrance area with walls enclosing it. And then we have the gatehouse just behind. And so that is what I'm trying to work on now. As you can see, we've done the, the, the gate. And I think the issue was that we'd started building from one side across and then we did 
the opposite on the other side. And so they may have been slightly off by a tiny portion. And um, because of that, we weren't able to place the gate, but this is as far as we've been able to, to build it. I'm thinking about pushing this one wall closer so that it doesn't look so off balance. So we're ready to work on the Barbican and I'm thinking about extending this out just a touch so that we have space for this uh, little, I guess, gatehouse. Um, if we quickly look at a, a Roman gatehouse or gate, you have the gate here, followed by some walling on the inner section, as well as the um, the upper floor to that. It's not around the outside, but I think we can use poetic license here. And we'll probably do the stairs up to that on one of the sides as well. Bearing that in mind, we'll put the columns either side of the gate. And then we're going to also place in the center the horizontal beams above. These are going to need to be supported with these horizontal, or sorry, diagonal struts. And then from there, we'll be able to remove this and continue extending the walkway out. Looking at some more of these, it does look like they have ramparts along some of them, not all. And so I think we will do some like some ramparts around the side so that you can walk along it should you need to. I think that would work for our build. And the great thing about that is it will work really well with the system that we've got here. So we're building up to this level. I'm really struggling to build across. I can't figure out what it is that I need to do to build across into a ramp section. But until I work through that, you'll also notice that I have placed like squares along the edge uh, of here. We will we'll, um, spike the edges of these eventually, but I've given myself a two by two square in each section to create a uh, tower for this. And while we're here, I should say, if you are enjoying the video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help my channel a lot. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. The build is coming along. If we look up here, we have the whole fort walled off. Uh, with plenty of space for those towers. And I think there's a second pathway in, so we're going to add a little gate to that as well. Whilst I'm here sorting out this, I'm removing all of these currently, um, I am adding ramps along the outside, and that's just so that we can grab our sticks and then place them onto here. Then if we go upstairs, we're going to be able to knock them across with an axe to create a defensive pike, he says. There. <laughs> Not the easiest way to do it, but it's going to be done all the way around. There's so much work in this. Good news, I've worked it out. So you can't have a beam um, across from it if you're going to connect them up. So for example, if we were to do one from this location to here, we couldn't have another beam on this side horizontally. Uh, I've tried my best to do it here, it just won't allow us to do that. But I have worked out how to do that so we can run these across the whole of the build. And the plan is to have these nestled in this section and go down to the floor so that we can place spikes. The other thing, and I don't think I'm going to have a solution to this, is we can't really add a um, like a wall across the top. We can't add any more height to this, which means that the walkways are just going to be defenseless. Um, that people could fall over. There's no kind of barrier, um, and there's not much I can. Well, there's nothing really I can do with that. My only suggestion would be if I grab this, if we cut this in half and then run this up. What we can do is place that. Oh, this will take so much time to do. 
place that. And then from there, oh, I'm stuck. Add, I need, yeah, that will do. Place one of these, maybe just on the upper section here. Ah, I'll play around with this, but I'm pretty happy with how it's coming along. We can certainly do the barriers on the gate, which I'll do now. At this point, we have finished the basic look of the front gatehouse. I still need to do the middle floor to bring it out so that we have a walkway all along, but you can see it's just a very simple one with a staircase behind rather than on the side because it looks more compact so that they can see what's going on. And we'll probably add some cross beams and struts just to make it look a little bit cleaner. My next port of call is sorting out the walls. And as you can see here, we've done the, the slants where we're going to be placing the sticks. And now I'm adding all of the, the, the um, pillars across so that we can add the walkways. The only thing is that the corners are, uh, well, I'm not sure how we're going to do the corners because we can't add diagonal um, beams across to the other side. So we might just have to build without that. Not sure at this stage. So I went ahead and filled out the rest of the outer walls. So you can see we now have a grid all the way around. This will allow us to put the uh, parapet, is that the right word? Uh, along the top and I've also done the ramps along the bottom. The other thing that I've done is for the gatehouse I've added some peaked roofs just to make it look more like a, a little uh, barbican and from here we're going to have to go in and start chopping the spikes on top of those walls. And at this point, we're going to have to add the uh, little logs on top and then add the top section of the battlements. It's going to take a long time, but hopefully we can get this all done relatively quickly. And as you can see here, we've done it. Although there is a slight issue. Um, during the proceeds of building all of this, we seem to have had a bug that has affected us. I don't know how it happened. I just placed something down and suddenly the, the whole world has this empty space around me. And so the, if I run towards trees, they just disappear. That actually works well because you can see much better what we're building here. Uh, but I don't know how to undo it, so I might have to restart the game in a little bit. Anyway, the next thing that we're going to do is start working on the towers in each of the corners. For this, we're going to make it relatively simple. I want to have it going straight up. We'll try to do a stairwell up to the first floor and to make it so that you can walk onto the battlements from there. But I think because we, we don't have ladders available, we're going to have to use the rope um, ladders, I guess, to get to the top floor or the, the penultimate floor, as this is going to be three stories high. And here you are, I'm pretty happy with how the tower turned out. I must admit it's becoming less and less historically accurate, but it's cool nonetheless. If you are, if you are enjoying it, guys, do let me know in the comments below. Uh, but you can see we've got the, the top section done there and we've filled in the walls. Uh, more importantly, we have the ladders that are taking us to the top. I hope they add proper ladders. Hopefully we can see that in an update soon. And the next thing that I need to do is work on the rest of the towers. We've got three more to do. I'm just going to repeat these so we'll skip ahead. And then from there, I'll give you a look at the surroundings. And there we are. It's only taken me about five hours to do them all. Uh, no, maybe not that long. But you can see the fort is complete. I'm really happy with how this turned out. We definitely renovated the cannibals camp. And if you look outside, um, thanks to this bug happening, you can just see how commanding this fort is over the terrain. If we were to get rid of all the other trees around here, uh, you would be able to see anyone trying to, to come towards you and attack you. So really happy with how this has turned out. I was considering adding a little uh, hut, maybe like a, a chieftain's hut in the center. But regardless, I'm happy with how this has turned out. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Would you live here if you had the opportunity?
opportunity to. Um, but we are going to leave it there. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We've got plenty more planned and I'm very much looking forward to sharing it all with you. But before we do finish, if you're wondering what to watch next, why not check out my video guide on defenses in Sons of the Forest, which we released the other day. I'll put a link to that now. Special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters, most notably our Solo Clips patrons, James Irwin, Fireflesh, and Trebor, as well as our Lunas, The Calamity, Ben, Shoku the Ammon Wolf, and that dude A W and Star, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is the Souch and Husky. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.